Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is the ninth video as part of our series of video of the playlist of power of data analysis. So in the last video, we saw a couple of reports associated with the verification of chart of account. So that was the completion of verification of chart of account. Now starting this video, we will be exploring the verification of stock items, which is again the exception reports related to inventory masters. So if you have understood the basis in which the verification of chart of account exception reports gets listed with various exceptions as separate report, similar kind of the logic or the objective is created for viewing the exceptions related to inventory master. So let us go to tally and explore couple of exceptional report related to inventory masters. In the previous eight parts, we covered all the exceptions related to chart of accounts, which I hope will be of immense help for organizations to finalize their books of accounts at the end of the financial year and clean up your chart of accounts to eliminate redundant masters. At the same time, we also understood how these exceptions will help the auditors to complete their audit function effectively by quickly addressing these exceptions. Starting this video, we shall explore exceptional reports related to inventory masters with the report title verification of stock item. As I mentioned earlier, once we understand the purpose of these exceptions from the chart of accounts, the same principle applies for inventory masters also. Let us drill down from verification of stock items and explore what types of exceptional reports are provided here. Notice we can see somewhat similar type of exceptions we learnt in the chart of accounts. In this video, let us explore two exceptions that is difference in opening stock and negative stock. First, let me clarify that these two reports will be provided in case of company having database in two different companies. If you recall, I have been demonstrating these features where the current year data is in a different company and the previous year data is in another company. Let us explore difference in opening stock. There is one stock item where there is difference in opening stock. Again, for us to understand this exception, let's take a use case scenario. The company has split their data and provided their previous year's data to their auditors for audit. During the audit, as part of audit observation, the quantity of stock item has changed or rectified in the previous year data. And after finalization, the rectified closing balance of stock item has not been updated in the current year data. That is the scenario. That is why this exception. Let us drill down and explore further. Notice the HP monitor 19 inches, the closing balance in the previous year 22-23, the closing balance is three numbers. But whereas in the new company, which is the current year company for the current financial year 23-24, the opening balance quantity is displayed as two numbers. We need to now correct the opening balance as per the finalized previous year books of accounts. Can we make the correction from this report? Yes, it is possible. Select the stock item you want to modify the opening balance and press Control Enter. You will be taken to stock item alteration screen. Click on the opening balance quantity and change the quantity to three numbers. Just type three, enter and save this by pressing control A. Notice the exception has disappeared. Escape and we will see that difference in opening balance exception title does not have any difference in the opening balance. So it is not getting displayed. The next exceptional report is negative stock. This exception report will list out all the stock items which have negative stock at the close of the current financial year. Ideally, you cannot have negative balance for any stock, but due to any data entry, there could be probability. The purpose of this report is to 
list all the stock items which carry negative balance at the end of the financial year. We can notice that there are four stock items having negative balance. Let us drill down to check the same. We can view the list of four stock items where the opening balance of the stock item has been positive balance and during the year after passing the transaction these items have negative closing balance. The concerned stakeholder has to now verify the same and rectify before finalizing the books of account. Again right from this report we can navigate to the stock item to view the list of transaction. First identify the stock item you want to analyze the reason for negative stock. Let us say we want to check the negative stock transaction list for the stock item HP pendrive 16 GB. Click on go to and type item vouchers. From the voucher report or from the stock item report select stock item vouchers. From the list of stock item select the item HP pendrive. Just type HP pen and select HP pendrive 16 GB. We are now viewing the transactions for stock item HP pendrive 16 GB for the entire year April to March. So we see the transaction that there is one number negative balance. Let us hypothetically assume that the stakeholder has identified that sales made to Olive Sun IT is actually nine numbers and not ten numbers. If the security features allows you to alter the voucher click on this transaction you will be taken to the sales voucher click on hp pendrive 16 gb enter and now in the quantity you can go and make it as nine numbers enter the rest of the information is fine all you can do is just press ctrl a to save the voucher. Notice the quantity is now revised here and the closing balance is now become zero. Let us escape and come back to the report. You will notice again here the exception of negative balance for HP pen drive 16 GB has vanished. This way with the help of these two reports you can quickly rectify the errors. I hope these two reports of difference in opening balance we understood why there is difference in opening balance and negative stock so that this quickly helps the organization to finalize their inventory books of accounts before they provide their data to their auditors for audit. So thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.